In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a mobile landing page using Unbounce. Now, in a previous video, I've already showed you how to create the content for your mobile landing page or for your landing page in general. So here is the information that we did, we created in that video, and this is the information we have to take over and swap out with this landing page. Of course, this is going to be quite easy because we've already written it out. So follow that step first, watch that video, and then go on to this step here and it will all make sense. So we are in the creation page for the theme that we've already chosen in the previous video. On the bottom here, I've chosen the mobile version because we're working on the mobile view. So now all we have to do is swap out all the information that we've already created. So first of all, we have to change out this with my logo that I'm going to use. Obviously your logo is going to be different. So let's find mine. So I'm going to scale image to fit so it fits in there. You can see that it's quite small. I may want to make it a little bit bigger just so you can actually see. Everything you can click and move. If you want to resize it, you just click on the, on the corner here and you can pull it up so you can resize it. Now we'll move this back over, I guess, to here and make sure that's lined up okay. Now I'm going to rename this one to marketing simplified so that's why i have all that information over there so that i can just easily look at it and add it in here simplified hard to see here marketing simplified looks a little odd for some reason but now i'm going to move this over to the left hand side so that aligns with that the logo and I would like to move this up a little bit. We're going to have to bring that forward. So you can send things forward or bring them backwards. If you bring them forward, that means they're above the other piece. And now I can move it up a little bit. So there we go, marking simplified. And now I can adjust this and tighten it up a little bit as well. These will tighten up the spaces. These are all different sections is what they're called. Now I have to replace the main headline. This is the main headline. I'll use for my headline, create your face first Facebook ad. Okay, so you can see that as I copied and pasted it, used, it took away the formatting. So if I paste it in the middle, it still does that. Okay, so what I'm going to have to do, if I want to keep the same formatting, is just type it in. So create your first Facebook ad. So now you can see that I've kept the formatting the same there. Close that. And we have to change the subheadline. Here is our subheadline. And let's see if I can paste and see if it will work it if I paste it like this. Still does not work. Okay. So before, delete everything else and close that. So now we have our headline and our subheadline done. Now register for the webinar. I'm going to leave the dates the same here because I haven't actually chosen dates. And I don't want to know how often they've watched webinars and any extra questions are actually not good in any kind of form because they generally will decrease your participation rate so you'll get fewer people filling them out. So let's trash that question, click done. And let's just change the last name. Let's just do a first name email. So now we have to tighten this up. So let's tighten that up here. There we go. And now we have to move this up and the button up. Okay. Now, of course, this has caused all the rest of it to get a little bit out of place. So let's see if we can, I guess we'll just have to move it all up by hand here. Okay, this, these now are making me, let's see if I can group these. One, two. So 
we've got that. Let's select this one. Yeah, just if you move down. So you can see this is kind of a, needs quite a bit of adjustment here. So bring up the photo. Bring out the about our guest copywriter. Okay, so now at least you've been able to see how that would all be adjusted. Now, we'll keep all of this, that, that'll be fine. About the webinar, let's see what we have for that. So let's copy in what we've already written. Now, in this case, normal, I'm going to just change all of this because I don't want to type it all out again. Make it make it match. So for some reason this is not changing yet. Beto sixteen. So it looks like that is all the same now. It looks like the color might be slightly different but I'm fine with that, that's close enough here. Outline. Okay, now I'm about to put this last one in here. So you can see that this is normal, Leto and 16 and 20. So we're going to paste this and then we're gonna change all of these to that. So normal div Leto for that. So that was 16. So now the setting should all be the same for these here. And let's remove these extra spaces and see how everything looks. So it looks like we need to adjust the spacing a little bit on the last one or move the four up. So let's just move the four up here. and move the three up just a little bit too. Okay, so there we go. And change this about our guest, I guess just about Jordan Arsenal. And now we have a spacing problem for some reason. So let's just put Jordan Arsenal on the next line. So that should fix the spacing issue there. And I'll have to find a picture of myself, which I will do later, and change out this text. So you can see that this is pretty easy to do. It's like once you have all your content, and that is really the trick to it, if you have all your content ready, it makes it a lot easier to do. You just have to fill in what you've essentially put into the existing one. You don't have to know, you know a lot about programming or really anything. It just is pretty self-explanatory. And that is too small there. Okay, it went to 40 instead. Okay. Now what people have said about, so I have to change this out to Jordan Arsenal. Close. And what I will have to do is change each of these pictures out, or actually I'm just going to remove these pictures to simplify because I don't have pictures for each of them. And let's just somewhat center these. And we have to change them for the quotes that we have here. Okay, so I filled in these here with quotes about myself instead of about the webinar and I've changed that. Now I have to change the image. So what I'm going to do is click here is change image. Now I'll have to choose one of my past images. So my images, let's look down here. There's one. 
choose that we'll do scale image to fit now you can see that this gives you a little bit of a problem in the way that it displays just click on edit mask and then move it down here so your actual face is in it and hit done so now that will show the face properly now this one should be pretty much finished now i don't like the look that this has at the after coming back up here. So I'm going to move this over and center it. There we go. So I have to center this as well, I guess. And there, I like the way that that looks a little bit better. And I'm actually going to remove this tagline because it doesn't add any value to this page. One more thing I have to add here on the bottom is I need to enter in my privacy policy and my terms of use page. If you're going to run ads to this landing page, which you probably are, then you will need to have that information in there. So let's enter that in. So in order to do that, let's just put 2016 and put terms of use and privacy policy. You have to have these links always on any pages that you're running traffic to. Terms of use, so we'll highlight this one here. And what do we have first? Terms of use. And click this to turn it into a link. Paste it and hit OK. Now, privacy policy also has to be added in there as well. So copy that. And insert that. Paste. Close. So now I have this on the bottom as well, which makes me safe for advertising purposes. I'm going to click Save. And let's have a look at it to make sure that the page actually looks correctly. So we'll click on preview. And let's make sure that it's showing up okay. Create your first Facebook ad. So it is looking pretty clear so far. So I'm happy with this as a landing page. It's basically good to go. Now, this tutorial was just based on the mobile version of the page the desktop version is probably actually it looks pretty good it needs a little bit of an adjustment here and i'm actually going to adjust that rather than doing it in, in a whole other video so we'll just click on the desktop version Be the reason why this looks so good is because i didn't really edit the page very much i just left it the same i didn't make a lot of changes to it so one area right here is definitely a problem the amount of space that's going on and there's a lack of space for this part so we will have to edit this let's change the size a little bit okay so the only part that i have to really fix now is this area right here because i removed two of the options for the form now it doesn't look correctly so i'm going to have to move this up so it will be just similar to how i did it before drag it up so make sure that the spacing is around the same on the top and the bottom. Call to action box. Let's bring this up. Everything is pretty drag and drop. It's quite easy to use. And there we are. So that looks good. Everything down there looks good. One thing I will need to adjust is the size of the logo. Just enough that it can be red. I don't want it too big. I don't want it to really overpower the page. Just enough that you can kind of tell what it says there because I want their main focus to be on this headline. Now, they should be looking good in both the mobile and the desktop version. Yeah, so that looks pretty good. Now, the page is the page is essentially done, but I'm going to show how you can connect up the form with Facebook ad conversion pixels. I'm going to show you how to add a couple more things in the next video, just for your tracking. Your tracking is a very important part if you're going to be running ads to this. So I'll show you how to do that in the next video.